Hello everyone! Today I am a little bit early because I couldn't wait to read another story for you. Today we will read Why is um, the day all grey? It's another business classic about um, Winnie the Pooh. I like the story so I decided to read it for you. But first of all, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Maya. I'm a writer. I love meditation. I love children. I love fairy tales. And that means that I wrote very special um, um, meditative fairy tales and I prepare them for you in audio um, tapes. You can find them on the link um, in the description box and listen um, some short parts and you can also read uh, more about this very special fairy tales. They can help children to learn how to uh, breathe um, in this uh, tummy area uh, in the funny way. They can help calm down in the evening and they help create more... Um, positive morning um, if you listen them in the morning and this is also a benefit for parents because you are a good sample for your kids and also you can do something for yourself if you listen these stories with Flower Fairy Flora so um, check on the link below if you watch this um, on YouTube very welcome to subscribe on this channel and now it's time for this story, like I said, another business classic. Um, why is the day all grey? Um, about Winnie the Pooh and his friends. So enjoy story, um, and yeah, enjoy it. <laughs> it was a chilly morning in the hundred ark wood when Pooh and Ro arrived at Owl's house. Why is the day all grey? asked Ro. The sun is hiding behind these low hanging clouds, said Owl. And this won't do at all. Why not? asked Ro. What's the matter? The fog is the matter, Owl replied. I simply cannot fly today. And I must get to my uncle's who's woo party. Oh dear, said Pooh, when will the fog go away so that you can fly? I don't know, said Owl, Owl Sail sadly, but I'm already late. Maybe you could fly through the fog, suggested Pooh. No, 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 said Owl. That's impossible. This particular fog is much too thick and far too low for me to fly through. Why, I can't even see the next tree over. What is the fog anyway? asked Ro. Owl thought for a moment. Fog, he began, is like a cloud that hugs the ground. Oh, said Ro. Well, when someone is hugging me too tightly, I push them away, like this. Ro gave a poo a gentle push. Perhaps we can push the fog out of the way for you, Ro suggested. Let's try, said Ro excitedly. Ro and Paul pushed and pushed at the thick damp air, but since there was only air to push against, the fog stayed right where it was. Oh, bother, said Paul. It's still here. I guess my idea didn't work, said Ro. Maybe the fog is only hugging your tree. Oh, let's see if we can find a place in the wood that isn't foggy. <laughs> Splendid suggestion, said O. The three friends walked through the wood looking for a bright sunny spot. They soon saw a shadowy figure bounce by. Hoo hoo hoo, cried Tiger. Say big lips, 
What are you doing walking when you got all those feathery things for flying? It's my considerate opinion that it's far too foggy to fly, said Owl. Tiger, can you help us make a fog go away so that Owl can fly? asked Wolf. Tiger thought for a moment. Absolutely, he announced. Getting rid of fog is what tigers do best. I'll just give it a little scare and bounce it. Bounce the fog right back into the sky. And so, Tiger crouched down low and popped up with a giant boo, boo. Then he booed and bounced all around. But the fog stayed right where it was. Finally, Tiger stopped. Whew, said Tiger, shaking himself off. Trying to scare that fog away made me one soggy tiger. But it isn't raining, said Ro. Where's the water coming from? It must be in the fog, said Tiger, because I am absolutely wet. Can't you feel it, little buddy? Ro lifted up his head and felt the cool, moist air in his face. The day was still grey and foggy. I'm sorry, O, oh, said Ro. The fog is everywhere. We just don't know how to make it go away. Perhaps Piglet will know, said Pooh. He's always good with a puzzle. <gasps> Great idea, Pooh boy, said Tiger. As the friends set off for Piglet's house, they couldn't see very well. Suddenly, Ro heard a strange rustling sound. He hopped into the Pooh's arms. What was that? asked Ro. I don't know, said Pooh nervously. It's really hard to see in all this fog. Meanwhile, Tiger could not find Owl anywhere. Then he started hearing strange sounds too. Whatever is making those scary sounds won't notice me, he said. Pooh kept walking until he bumped into something that looked like a strap tree. Tiger, said Pooh. Hoo hoo hoo, laughed Tiger. I'm sure glad it's you, buddy bear. The three friends kept walking until they got to push to until they got to Pooh's thinking spot. There by the tree they saw the lights shining through the fog. Wha wha what's that, buddy boys? cried Tiger. Let's get out of here. I say said a familiar voice. It's about time you showed up. It's all, cried Ro. Well, of course it's me, said all. I've been waiting for you. Paul looked up and noticed that a little breeze had blown some of the fog away. It's a little less foggy, he said. Perhaps now would be a good time to look for Piglet's house. Everyone agreed. They left Paul's stinking spot, which Tiger renamed Paul's Scaredy Spot. When the friends got to Piglet's house, they find him sweeping his walk. Hello, Piglet, said Ro. Do you know how to get rid of this fog so that Owl can fly? Oh, dear, said Poglet as Piglet as he kept sweeping. No, I don't. Wait, said Ro excitedly. Maybe we could all we could all use brooms and sweep the fog away. Say Ro boy, that's fantastic idea, said Tiger. So you got any extra brooms there, Piglet? This is my only one, Piglet replied. But there is someone who has lots of brooms. Rabbit! They all yelled together. Everyone heard over the rabbit's house. 
Hey there, long ears, tiger called. Do you have some brooms we can use? Rabbit got excited when he saw all his friends. A cleaning party, he exclaimed. What an excellent idea. But to Rabbit's surprise, everyone took the brooms outside. Rabbit went to see what his friends were doing. Oh, no, 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 said Rabbit, watching his broom in action. What is going on here? We're sweeping the fog away so that O can fly, explained Ro. That's silly, said Rabbit. The fog will go away by itself. Who keeps sweeping? It seems to be getting a bit warmer, he said, whipping his broom. I don't need this anymore, said Ro, removing his scar scarf. It's absolutely drier than it was before, noticed Tiger. I'm not feeling so wet behind the ears or anywhere else. Ro waited and watched for the fog to leave. Why is the day still grey? he asked, looking around. Wait and see, said Rabbit. As the air warms up more and more, the fog will disappear. Then the day won't be grey anymore. A few hours later, the only clouds Ole and his friends could see were in the sky. What do you know? announced Ole who was perched atop Rabbit's weather, weather wing. Rabbit was right. The warmer air has turned this grey foggy day into a clear one. It's flying weather after all. Thank you all for your help. I'm off to the party. Goodbye. And they all went to the party because the day became warmer. So we learned that Actually, we cannot influence the weather. We can just accept it as it is and we can make a fun of it. So what I mean, we can have fun in any weather. I hope you will enjoy your day. I mean, you enjoyed your day and you will enjoy your day tomorrow as well, um, no matter what the weather uh, will be. For today, now I just wish you a good night and see you soon. Enjoy. Bye bye. Mwah.